course, I forgot to make the uh, make Obsbot know who I am. One second here. Come on. Yeah! It starts to actually know who I am now. All right. There you go, Mini Max. You, you can be front and center today. All right, guys, so we got the dados done for the sides. I did say we had all the dados done. I lied. I was mistaken. I forgot that we got to do dados for the backboards. But let's finish the sideboards. Let's just finish the sideboards. So right now I've got one of the sideboards set up. It's in a nice little... It's not going anywhere. I'll be able to... Not going up, not going that way, not going that way. So we can just cut some grooves here. Cut the last rabbit. But also, we learned our lesson last time. Make this baby as, as smooth as, as silk. Oh, also, I didn't even realize it. We're not, we're not doing any... We're not doing any rabbiting, or we're not doing any dados. So let me get the knickers put back correct. Feel free to talk. Uh, I have a feeling that OBS, or that my speaker bot's gonna be silent for the first 10, 15 minutes, as it has been doing. I'm not ignoring you, speaker bot is. But once it starts working up again, I'll start responding as much as possible. Till then, I'll keep my eye on the chat. Hopefully, I'm loud enough and you guys can hear me. Also, there's probably ads at the moment because Twitch got a Twitch. Okay, there's that. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Never lose that. Okay, where are you at? There you are, little, little boy. Flip the knicker blade out of the way and screw it back in. Go. Now we got to figure out what depth we're cutting to here. Okay, because I know I am way, way too deep. Okay, the easiest way to figure this out without screwing around too much. A, it's three quarters of an inch. Wood. But how deep did we go here? Okay, we'll start there and then we'll adjust in. Okay, let's start there, see how the blade sits. The easy way to figure out if you're at the right depth is to literally set it in. How we doing? How we doing? Do I need to go further down? Yeah, there we go. Same depth as the top. Now we play the fun. Fun, fun game. Of, okay. Okay, blade is at depth. Not really, let's get this thing a little, a little receded. It's the last thing you want. I'm gonna be a little bit smart here. There's no reason 
to rabbit past this line. So we're not going to. Oh, man, I'm, I'm out of sorts, guys. Got to have an edge guide. I was about to try and freehand rabbits. I am a dingleberry if there ever was. Okay, now we can rabbit. Second thing, okay, does say to the back, we are on the correct side. aggressive, a little less aggressive. You know, the first 15 minutes are going to be me just playing with all this. Hopefully people aren't like protesting against me. I'm hoping people are going to show up today. Heck, it doesn't even look like Siri bot wanted to stay. Uh. One second. Is it Wednesday? I think it's Wednesday. Let's see if the Craftsman's Guild even announced me. Who knows anymore? Kind of wonder if things are broken. We'll see what happens. Either way, I kind of need to get these grooves done, so I'm There we go. I was wondering why that side wasn't even touching. Okay.
There we go. Maybe just a, a hair gentler, but it's working. There we go. Looks like uh, speaker bot's still acting up. Let's see what you got here. Yeah, yeah, it's the missing. Ra oh, we're doing the rabbits. The dados will come next. Um, once these rabbits are done, though, the sides will be done, and I can do the dados on the backboards, and we can start trying to put stuff together. something Roy Underhill didn't do and I'm gonna stay away from dadoing or rabbiting this portion altogether this is the feet and if you watch the episode he did it he just rabbited all the way down I figure I've got a nice hard stop there I don't don't need to rabbit the feet I'm trying to find that happy medium though with this blade Unfortunately, we're also going against the grain. That would be slime coming home from work. You know, something tells me, I may hate myself for it, but part of this is my problem. So let's, yep, there's Max saying, welcome home, mama. There's your problem. There's your problem. Uh, that's all right. Speaker bot will catch up at some point in time. It's looking at the ceiling. One second here. But yeah, it uh, looks like part of the problem is all those dados kind of did what they do and I need to reintroduce a nice sharp edge. Tells me I would have cut dados a lot faster too if I'd have done this last time. Alright. I mean, hey, can't beat vintage Stanley. These are true old Stanley blades. I'll just polish them up and go. Um, whenever the hawk comes in, 
I'll show it to you. Um, they're back ordered right now. Probably won't even ship out till Friday at the earliest. But they're a little bit thicker, and it's one of those. It, the blade and the chipper are where my biggest problem are on the six. So I just want to try out a cheaper replacement blade before deciding to get a whole new plane. Because I've tried everything to tune that blade and chipper up, and it's it's been a it's very very finicky. It, it responds. It, it will chatter like hell and clog. Okay, that's that. Let me get some blue. Ah. Wipe it down. I'm gonna have to buy some new Windex here soon. Stones. It also cleans off metal so I don't get iron streaks on it. And we should be able to cut like a baby's bottom. <laughs> yeah, I probably should be sharp like as much as I use these I should probably be sharpening them every time I bring them out like yeah you're probably you're probably in need of it okay not to mention once I'm done with all this work I'm gonna be giving the uh, be giving this guy a nice oil bath it is covered in uh it is covered in dust and shavings and wax and everything else it's gonna it's gonna absolutely love having a an oil bath just to make sure it don't rust Alright, but yeah, at some point in time, I, I figure uh, speaker bot will start yelling again. What do you know, going against the grain, sharpen the blade. Seems to be working, but let's pull it back just a hair. Because the more aggressive a cut, the, the duller it's going to get. Too far back. doing better yeah but yeah the backboard will seat in here each of the shelves will seat here top seats there Hopefully the top camera is at least catching me. Oh, let me do this a little bit. There we go. 
That looks goofy. Why am I upside down? Eh. But it's going. It's at least going. And I've got at least something hot to drink tonight. Mm. Back to my roots, orange spice tea and a giant, giant mug. Ooh, oh, that warms me body and soul right there. Oh no, someone else joined in and it's still not going. Hey. Yes, I do. I do. Um, I've got this little block of fun that I, I wax the plane with here and there. It's just right now we are literally, the, the only way I can use this is right handed and we are literally going against the grain. So it's going to be a little bit tough pushing regardless. It is waxed. for making stuff out of curly, curly, curly wood. But we're getting there. Uh, but good to see you're in, Mom. Or, yeah. Hopefully here in some point in time, SpeakerBot will remember. Uh... Huh. Someone type something real quick. Or even me. Your underscore mom zero zero six said hi. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it connected in. I was about to like restart it and I noticed it showed that it was fully connected. All right, so that means everything's working, finally. All right, that, that makes me happy. That means I can at least listen to people talk to me as opposed to looking up and trying to read from across the room. Oh, bless. Are you building a cabinet? Yes, um, the easiest way to see what I'm building, it will, it did shift on me. Well, at this point, it is, uh, I've gotten a, sorry, I got distracted here. I've got a command called uh, exclamation point project. It'll bring up a picture of what I am currently uh, building. And also, if I have five seconds of time, should be able to, it, what I am building is a shaker cabinet, or the, the, the infamous pine cupboard that everyone builds. Let's see if I can get a good burp. 
this guy. Making mine out of cherry, though. Okay. Sorry, one second. <laughs> There's a little bit out of alignment here. But glad you could stop in. Uh, hopefully this is something interesting to you. Ah. And at least I can hear things again. Yay! <laughs> All right. But uh, glad to... Glad to be, uh, be interesting. Um, typically, I stream. Uh, my name's Wes. This is plain old woodworking. Since I think you're possibly new, my brain isn't really registering at the moment. Um, I do a lot of just hand tool woodworking projects here on on Twitch. Uh, gotcha. Um, it's usually Mondays and Wednesdays, but the holidays get us all kind of con confused, so who knows. There we go. figure out what's going on up there, but got most of it cut. Come on. Why are you being stubborn just at this area? I know why it's being stubborn. And now I know why Roy Underhill rabbited all the way through. The reason it's being stubborn is because the skates are getting pushed up. Ah. Okay, well. I have to do it this way. Unless I want to stop rabbit it by hand, which I've already committed.
All right, we are. But I'm glad that the uh, that old speaker bot is screaming at me now. one rabbit done now that I figured out what the problem was Just trying to get this feather edge cut back a bit. So that it's not in the way during assembly. How you doing? We are getting somewhere. Getting somewhere. Okay, so all that's left on this piece is to cut out the leg. The legs. Also, I want to see something here because something's been bugging me. Okay. That was true. The shelves are great have been with my coworker now watching streams and games. Gotcha. So that's a that's a big the shelves are a little narrow. Luckily the shelves are technically the right width. So I'm guessing I just need to plane some of the front side down at some point. A keyword at some point. There we go, man. All right. That is one side basically ready to go. Now. Let's bring the other one out. We'll see where we can get to today. Um, not sure if I'm going to be streaming the next two weeks. Not trying to be evil to you guys or anything, but I mean, it is getting to be the holiday season. And if I stream next week, I'll be, that I definitely I'm possibly able to stream next week, but the week after that, the Christmas week, I'm not even going to be in the same state. So two weeks from now, just don't expect any streams on that week. 
We'll see about New Year's and stuff like that as it comes along too. Okay, back. Okay, so we, we need to be uh, this away. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 before I hammer the baby in, let's, let's not encourage uh, imprints of shavings onto a mostly finished side, a show side, as you might call it. There we go. Okay. Do I see the word back? There it is. Okay, good. That is. <laughs> then we are going to plane the correct side. Not the right side, not the left side, the correct side. Hey, Payne, how you doing? Okay, back the blade a little bit. The way this is going, we may get through a good bit. Too far. Not quite far enough. See everyone's making their way in. So I'm going to take a warm up break here. Mm. Uh, like I said, I'm I'm happy that we're is getting this groove for the back of the cabinet. Yes, the uh, the groove I'm putting in right now is to house the backboards, um, and the backboards are uh, I think it's like three or four boards that have a uh, tongue and groove with a bead in it to make it nice and fancy. Ah. 
and I may change up the design just slightly with the backboards because they're supposed to stop here, but you end up grooving this anyways. So I may make the backboards go all the way down and give them an arched foot as well. But we'll see how I feel about that. Or just extend them a little bit further so I can get a good purchase of nails. And that is really aggravating me. Okay, guys, are you, for the main camera, the, the big camera, the top-down camera, do you like it with my body being in the bottom half, or do you want the body in the top half? I, I, it's y'all's preference, really. Like, I think I've flipped it like three times. I mean, to me, it kind of makes sense. But the way it is, but it also makes sense the other way. So. so I just keep fighting myself on which way I want it to be. And then you have it now is okay. Okay. And no need to sit there and fight with it. And besides, it's more y'all's choice at this point. Also, found out this week, we're, I'm going to have to start working on emotes again because I apparently have a, I have a slot for a new animated emoji and a few more regular emojis. So I'm going to have to start filling those in or start getting rid of the uh, generic Twitch designs as well. I know I promised uh, Slime that I'll put an owl in there for my decrepit whoo, whenever I'm <laughs> worn out from stuff. I just have to think of what the heck I'd want to use as an emoji. It's like, I mean, I know the one of me in a Triceratops onesie plowing a board definitely probably is never used. much faster now that I've sharpened it and done everything else and probably does need a little bit more wax all right quick warm beverage break I don't know how long I'll be out here today make it work. If anything, we'll at least get these two grooves done, but that seems like short change in you guys. Yep, there we go.
It's amazing how many shavings I make in a stream. Two simple cuts. More shavings than I know what to do with. than jamming which apparently jamming is a bad thing like a, a common thing with the 45 but it's I'm not really jam it's not really jammed when I do that it just has enough stuff in there that I want to clear it you just have to be attentive with these guys now I'll go ahead and amend that and say if you're doing tongue and groove bits yeah, they jam. It jams bad. <laughs> because the mouth only ejects it one way and old wooden planes eject them both ways when you do a tongue and groove. <laughs> Second. What do you mean by a base? Um, just as a quick question, because like, I, I honestly don't know how to answer that. Um, but uh, life and pain. Uh, oh, shelf off the floor. Yes, yes, it does. Um, your right here is the top, which will have crown molding around it, and um, so we'll do it this way. Hey, look, it's, so this is where the, uh, the top will go and there'll be crown molding around that. First shelf, second shelf, third shelf, base shelf, and these are gonna turn into feet. I'm gonna cut a archway for them. I'll figure out something for this. I'm actually thinking about extending the, ba the backboards down into it anyways and cutting an arch foot into them. I wonder. Oh, okay. Got it. Ha ha! Nice. We got a slightly, slightly higher elevation view. That's better. Ah, so, also exclamation point project. Uh, life and pain. It'll it'll have a pi uh, a picture of inspiration. Basically, it's the same cabinet, even the same kind of wood and everything. <laughs> Just, I'm building mine, and that one, I think, might be Christopher Schwartz's. If I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure that picture came from popular woodworking. Now we're do just clearing the weird off bumps.
maybe a few more swipes and we'll be there's some right there Almost there. Almost there. I think this is it. I say that and I still get a nick. There we go. Good, clean, cut all the way down. <sighs> now to get that little remnant. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go, the remnant's gone. All right, time to drink and rethink my life. Also known as Wednesday night. Twitch, don't demonetize me for that. Okay. That would be both sides. The thing is, is I'm sitting here fighting myself going, oh, did you fall? You fell. Of course you fell. Ah. Uh. At this point, where did I put it now? Okay. I really don't want to try and set up the backboards because it's going to be a pain in the butt because i got to line up three boards and start cutting dados in reference to the other boards. Well, on the downside, I haven't even really, I, I've streamed for maybe an hour. On the other downside, it is cold outside and I am starting to sweat. <laughs> All right, let's, let's get some ideas of what needs to happen here. So here is the top of the cabinet, which lo and behold is also short. That's a good sign that I'm gonna need to trim a bunch of stuff up at some point. Yay! Because these are going to sit back to about, Jesus, about here, or just as deep as we are going to have to take some, have to take some, uh, Width off, damn, that's a lot of width. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt a lot. Or I can find a way to recess a door. Okay, let's get an idea how deep. Sorry, yeah, now is gonna be calmly think through shit phase. Wow, Does the cabinet door fit flush to the front of the cabinet? It's supposed to, but I mean, it's it's my cabinet. Who cares? Okay. 
Also, this is the other thing, if you notice, like, <laughs> all right, so. So, this would be about to here. Yeah. I've also contemplated not caring because there's a face frame anyways. So these would be kind of hidden behind the face frame that holds the door up anyway. So the fact that they're an inch in doesn't really matter. So that, that's another thing I'm, I was thinking about because there, there is going to be a face frame around it. I think it doesn't matter. Yeah. I'm not, yeah, like, I'm kind of in your boat here. I don't think it really matters because the face frame's gonna hide the fact that the dado goes all the way through. That I didn't do a stop dado, God forbid. Um, but one thing I do ne need to do, now that I am done with the, the rabbits, we need to switch back to dado mode. Dado. Let me say dado. Uh, like I said, this, yeah, this 45 is going to get a long deserved oil bath after this project. I'm going to just give it a heavy, heavy cleaning. Let me say it, because. They might come in and you want to go home. Uh, okay. Are, are you absolutely kidding? Oh. Not quite, okay. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna need to switch the knickers down too, but so I can't do that till I switch the knickers. For those who are wondering, they're these little itty bitty cutting blades that you can switch the position of right now, like because it was a it was a rabbit. You don't really have to because it's long grain. Let me make sure I've got the right they one. They do. D I I do. There we go. Get get these back in serviceable position. Yep, that's what I was thinking. Get you all the way back up. Yeah, this thing's gonna absolutely love me. Uh, taking it apart and just covering it in oil and scrubbing all the sawdust and everything else out of it. Okay, which side did I sharpen? Okay, there you are. No, no, no! So the back goes on first and then the shelves, but into the back? Yes. There's going to be dados... In, in the shelves to help like house, house the shelves even more firmly. I'm just, I'm not 100% sure I wanna try and set up all three shelves and start datoing them because it's gonna be a long process and it's one of those like, I really, really don't wanna have to do that right now. Dado the shelves. Now it's more, so since the shelves are going this direction across the backboard, all it is is creating a nice seam where this bead is. Basically you're dadoing it down to the face of the bead so that the shelves just disappear right into the bead. Um, I don't think the other way around will work too well. Uh, this might be a short day anyways, but we're getting somewhere. We're definitely getting somewhere. Okay, so now that that's in there, like, I just want to be able to get this guy set up. Okay, you're loose. You're loosey-goosey. Okay. 
Let's see, do I have my long support too? That's my bead. Ah. Okay, yeah, I don't have the long one. But I do have this one. So <laughs> the anti-turning one. So now I have a guide on both sides so I don't do what I did last time. Oops. And rock the plane. There's, it's going to be a lot harder to rock the plane when there is a depth stop on both sides at the same height. And that height is bead height. I just don't have the long depth stop. Those are really fun because then you have one that's almost the length of the plane and that that is just amazing when you get one of those. All right. All right, Twice. Okay, put this little craftsman back up because it's... So the back also has dados? Yes. Lots of dados. Yep. This is dados and grooves all around. Actually, I don't know if we have any grooves. I think it's just dados and rabbits. Yeah, I don't think there's a single groove. Except for tongue and groove, because the backboards are tongue and groove. So, okay, there's a groove. There's grooves. <laughs> ah. How much do I how much do I love myself? Ah, I'm getting a runny nose too. Honestly, I want to see how many backboards I have and see if I can get this rocking. All right, so that is my two sideboards. Um, that's not right. Shit. Well, crap. Well, I just did a stupid thing. Question is, how am I going to get back from it? The other question is, this may actually... This actually is going to end up fixing things, though, because, like, I'm going to have to... That actually would... Okay. Okay, which one am I going to fix? I'm going to undo what I just did. <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad I caught it now. Okay. So I put the groove on the same side of the board. It's physically impossible to put together right now. One side's going to be the back, and one side's going to be... Oh, wait. Well, that doesn't mean it's bad. Okay, so... And one side's going to have to get cleaned up. Which one looks best? Uh. Okay, so I need to put down one dado, or one groove. Hell, honestly, the best way to do this is to just... Uh, 
I hate myself right now. Um, here, I'll show you guys what I just did wrong. If you guys, yeah, because the camera is not showing anything. But like I said, I have to decrease the width of these boards anyways, or I was thinking about it. Anything wrong with the fact that these are not mirrored? So like I can't put the backboard in here and nestle it in here. I need to put I need to put a rabbit on this side of one of the boards. And then I'm gonna have to cut these down the width of these rabbits. So it might be best. I hate when that happens. It might be best if I just rabbit the sides of the boards again, both sides, and then just very carefully figure out which side needs to be cut off, and then just plane the remaining material down to these faces. Instead of cutting them, because like planing, it, it, planing will work, and it, it's much more controllable than a saw. Well, I guess I've got my path forward. I guess I have my path forward. We can pick which side I want to plane and do whatever with later. Right now it is reset the plane back into <laughs> this and then just we good. Uh, okay. Anyway. Oh wait. Don't don't not that one. We just want to move this up. Because we're not going to go full depth of the plane anyways. Move this up and then we're going to take the date, uh, take the dado knickers back up. Okay, so I guess we're going to I feel like an idiot, but eh. in the long run, I guess it'll help facilitate the fact that like these shelves are a little narrow because if I put it back about this, that we have about one board's distance, which means, yeah, once I'm done fixing this, the shelves will fit. I was kind of hoping to avoid having to do something like that, like having to cut off three quarters of an inch, but it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. And this is why Twitch, <laughs> Twitch woodworking is a little bit of a different beast. You get to see all the screw ups all the time. Oh, before we go anywhere, eh. actually, screw it, leave the knickers down. It's not like it's going to hurt anything. It'll actually probably help with tear out as well. I didn't even think about it. The knickers aren't going to hurt anything if they're down. It's a rabbit. They're there to aid dados. Thank you. There.
All right, well, we'll do the standard thing of now it's time to That's not right. Oh, that that's why it's doing that. Okay. Okay, we're set up, I guess. Figure out a way to cut the other side. Which is fine, I can do it this way. Glad to uh, make everyone a little enjoyable. All right, let's just start cutting and then like, I guess the next stream will be planing off the extra end and being absolutely certain we're planing the right one. Absolutely certain. Okay. All I can say is, thank God I had ex extra width on these boards. Have you decided what is going into the cabinet once it is finished? Yes. Uh, woodworking books? And my my good wooden hand planes, you know my molding planes. That was the the original plan was for all of my lost art books, lost art press books. And then it evolved into, well, the top shelf could easily be used to just store my molding planes, because I don't have a lot. And they need to be stored inside and not in the weather. I just feel like an idiot that I have to do this twice.
Jackman was doing so good with this project and not having that uh-oh moment. Well, we've had blood, we've had sweat, there's the tears. It's a true project now. Yeah, I could. I was hoping to get a uh, to make an emoji for uh, redwood as well. Just not sure if Twitch would be okay with a band aid. Luckily, this is, this is rabbits. They go way faster than the dados because like I have to like line the dados up and get everything just right. So like there's, a, there's so much prep for the dados and the rabbits are like, is the fence on? Yup, well go, just go as hard as you can. have two ladders when we're done tonight. Here I was saying, I don't want to do the backboards. And then finding a problem with what I just did, so I gotta fix this. So we'll get a, we'll get our two hours in, I guess. but I would have preferred to not have made this mistake. But either way, I made the mistake of making the boards too wide anyways, or I was smart enough to make them too wide. We'll go with that second one. I was smart enough. I knew something was gonna happen. In fact, actually, like earlier, earlier streams of this project, I was like, it's always easier to just take a little bit off if you have to. And here's the, if you have to, Another warm up drink from the hot tea. <sighs> Not gonna lie, as much as I don't wanna be doing what I'm doing right now, my brain definitely w was going to just be eating itself over the whole, 
hey, there's like three quarters of an inch hidden extra in these boards. So like at this point, my brain no longer is eating at that. It's eating at you dumb dumb. But now it's like, ah, three quarters of an inch is solved. Now it's in the planing distance. When I put it together, I can just plane the face down to put the face frame on. You were just thinking ahead. Yep. Cosmic West knew what was going to happen. Cosmic Wes is infinitely smarter than present Wes. Luckily, like the solution really, do, like the problem I created solved a different problem. So like the solution to the problem solves a different problem at the same time. So whatever, we're, we're winning here. Done with this one, and then we'll be back to the other back sideboard. And then we'll we'll hang up for tonight, and I'll look at these and see which sides I want, which side I would want to plane off to be flush, and call it a day. Like I said, I don't know if I'm streaming next week. The week after that is a definite no. But next week, I might be able to squeeze something in, maybe Monday. Not sure about Wednesday, because that's the day before we leave. You get what I'm saying? So we'll try for Monday. Wednesday, don't count on it. Then a week after that, don't count on it. We'll call it Christmas. there because we're getting on this one. Ow. We're getting less and less snags, which means Double check whether or not that first part was flat, because it wasn't, and that affects it. Okay. But after Christmas, we're probably going to be bringing the, the heater in here. just to make sure I don't freeze my buns off while woodworking. We're almost done with this one, I swear. I keep saying that, but you know.
Yeah, we're almost there. There's just that little hiccup. Marcus, you missed the big, the big screw up of the sentry. We're slowly fixing it though now. Basically, I put the back groove on the wrong side of one of the boards. So here, yeah, here I'll, I'll show you in a second. Let me. Just make sure I've got the last little bit of these hills mowed off. Oh, that was a very quick nick. So, sounds like, sounds like we're basically there. Yep, we're there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, me and my infinite wisdom didn't realize what I was doing. And I'd put the groove for the backboards, you know, this groove here, on the same side of each board so that when you, instead of mirroring the boards, so now I'm putting the groove on this side, but also, If you notice, there was something wrong about it anyways. It, I was about that exact amount off on how wide these boards needed to be. So my solution is to put the groove on both sides, be very careful, and actually take note of which side I'm taking off, make sure I make a mirror and plane off one side completely. And then the sideboards will be both correct in terms of grooves, but also correct in terms of width. Okay, those little hairs are gone. So, tonight we'll be finished when I get the last. Uh, I put a counter bore on the inside once, so I've been there. Yeah. I mean, this is a standard woodworking mistake. Like, every woodworker has done something stupid like this where they've where it's supposed to be mirrored and it isn't, and you're like, well, crap. It's gonna be a little bit more narrow. And I'm like, I can live with that. Like, for me, I was like, I can live with that because the shelves are already narrower than the sideboard, so I was gonna have to take them down anyway. But I'm glad I caught it before I took them down. This is why surgeons write things like not this leg on patients. Yep. And remember to take off your watch on your on your own wrist, right? If you're a surgeon, remember to take off your watch before surgery. Okay. Okay, that one is prepped and ready. But oh my God, such beautiful grain in these boards. I, I'm so glad I got them. Uh, do what I did last time, remember? Don't want any shavings and pressing on the exterior face of boards. And blah. And blah. And blah. Okay. 
Let's take a warm up tea break for a second. Then we'll start plowing that. But glad you can join us, Marcus. I'm just glad we're getting this far along because like once the uh, once the sideboards are basically done, I can start basically putting it, well, sideboards and backboards, once the grooves and the dados and the rabbits are all done, I can start putting it basically together and then we can focus on face frame and door and moldings. Ah. Okay. As stupid as it sounds, wax the 45. Even if it's stupendously good for you, it will work even better. Just a nice little rabbit started. Yes, I'm taking lots of breaks right now because I really don't want to sweat too much when it's you know going to drop to 30 slash zero. But also, this is this is the end for tonight. Once I get this done, we're going to stack stuff and head out. I just want to see. Oh. We might actually have a true, true two hour stream tonight. We're already at the hour and a half where I seem to always quit, at least earlier in this project. do the standard thing and like dig down in the back here because what they don't tell you is when you're doing this it's referencing back here so like when you're starting it's always referencing slightly higher all the way down so this is almost always going to be a good chunk higher So if your skates back here are referencing basically flat, you get a nice little dip down. That's why you'll see me come back here and fixate at the beginning of the board for a bit every once in a while just to make sure we're getting that thing cut.
It looks like I'm rocking. Let's see what's going on here real quick. Still mad at myself for screwing up, but still happy that it didn't actually overall affect the, the project. Ah. All right, give me a quick drink. See if we can finish finish this off, so I can sit and stew in my own stupidity. sat there and wondered when I first got this 45 I was like this is kind of a gimmick tool why did I get this blah 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 but I ended up I end up loving the damn thing because it kept me from buying a ton of hyper specialized things like it's my beating plane it's my tongue and groove plane my rabbit plane my dado plane my moving philister plane. Although I do have a wooden rabbit plane now. But that one is to be used only for moldings. I usually don't like things that move around and you know have different settings and stuff like that just because I don't want to have to set up and tear down set up tear down set up tear down but I've gotten really used to this guy and for the sake that it only takes up a small amount of my Dutch tool chest it's it's really nice And I've gotten used to the idea that set it up. Oh, you got it set up for the dados? Do all the dados, man. Do all of them. <laughs> Don't even have to think. Just do every single dado. Getting close to done. What was that? 
Vamos lá. A machine is out of that, that would require a whole different set of tools. I guess I'd have to go talk to, to Mecca and be like, teach me. They want me to be a machinist. I mean, I guess I, I have I have the ability to make wooden screws, so I guess I could make a, I, I could do some wooden machining. Get the rest of the way down. Well, I thought I was close, and I saw how far the stop, <laughs> the depth stop, is away. Never mind. closer than I think, I don't know. Well, we gotta be close, because this is the same depth. Oh, we're at, we're at skimming, okay. Sad day though that Mecca can't watch me frustrate myself live anymore. Almost there. We're almost there. That sounds like we're probably maybe one, two passes away. Because we're getting thinner and easier. And just in certain spots. Oh, that. Oh. Oh. And I do declare that that rabbit has been done. All right, guys. I do not have the gumption to plane the excess width off. So we are going to figure out who to raid out to, 
Heck, 7.45, only 15 minutes away from what I was hoping to stream, which is two hours each stream. All right, who we got on? Who do we got on? Let's see, Science, C Not Bush, ERC 820, Gun Girls on. Haven't rated her that in a while. Anchored Albatross, Married with Spawn, Random Tinkerer. Also, feel free to chime in if there's someone you want to go to. Also, Okay, let's check makers and crafting just to see if there's someone new. Because you never know, there's always people to stream in on or write in on. But Wednesdays tend to be keyboards and Legos. That's the uh, that's the thing. You know what? Let's do Gun Girl. Let's say hello to Gun Girl. We haven't said hello to her in a while. Okay. Okay, double check that I've spelt this correctly because I've been getting stuff wrong left and right. All right, guys, we'll try and stream Monday, but past that I can't promise anything for the next two weeks. Glad to see you guys and have a good one and uh, happy holidays if I don't see you guys.